I'm headed to pick up a load of plants and then from there we have a planting project that I want to tackle today. Here are the plants that we have on hold. These are Green Mountain Boxwoods by Monrovia. Now, I have a total of five of these on hold. I'm not sure if this is where they're holding them at, but let's go ahead and count. So we have one, two, three, four, five down at the end. But look at this spiral right here. OMG, is there only one of these? Is it only one? There's just one. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If they had two of these, I'd buy these. Can we check in the back real quick? I want to find the pair that look the same. So... The two that are the biggest, this one seems like it's a little bit taller, which we can size control, but I'm looking more at the stem. So this stem right here seems that it's a little bit shorter. And so before I put these in their place, we're going to go ahead and shape these really, really quick. really is just a rough shaping because I want these to grow out a little bit more before I just go in so I'm thinking this would be the front on this one all right so that's pretty good Does that look does that look okay what do you guys think This one right here is like the perfect ball, if they all could look like that. And it will take some time for me to be able to get all of these boxwoods the same size and the shape. That's fine, it's just gonna take a little bit of patience, but I'm okay, I'm not an impatient gardener. Look at these, look at this, look at that. Okay, <laughs> okay,
<laughs> All right, now I know I'm working backwards. I should have cleaned this off before I start it. But oftentimes I'm trying to beat the sun. All right, how does that look? And I'm trying not to stand too close to these trees over here. Let's talk about the look here. Now we have some Monrovia Green Mountain Boxwoods. These are Hardy Down the Zones four to nine. So because these are in my window box, I'm a USDA zone 6B. We're pretty much safe here because they're a zone four. I may keep them in, I may pull them out. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling about everything. Now, I love the look, but with topiaries, I feel like sometimes in order to get them shaped up just the way you want them to be, sometimes it may take a few seasons. Next, I came in with a Iconia Portofino Begonia. Take three to six hours of morning sun and they like their environment to be semi-moist. And they bloom from summer all the way into fall like most begonia. They're hardy down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I'm doing my math right, that should be like four degrees Celsius. Don't quote me, honey. So here's the back of the tag. And here is the name here. Now it's champagne in color. I love that it kind of tickles with the color of peach. So it's definitely on trend with the rest of the colors that I have going on in my garden. So I'm absolutely obsessed with that. And then in the back, in order to bring in, kind of like fill in the gaps, but give us an aerial feel and play off the texture here, but still not take up so much of the show here of our boxwood. I have a euphorbia. Now, the euphorbia will get big and you can size control the euphorbia by just cutting it down. That's what I plan to do here. The euphorbia is hardy down to about 40 degrees. I've used euphorbia for my fall time containers before and they give an absolute amazing show. So, I mean, I am loving this. It's clean, it's not over the top. And I know a lot of times people ask about, do I leave space in my containers? And I actually just got a question about that. If I leave space in my containers, yes and no. And the reason why I said yes and no, it just all depends on what I'm doing, what the look is. But for a container that I want to be in place for a while, we have some space right here between the begonia like this one was kind of looking a little bit rough but there was not a large inventory of these so i just took all the ones that they had honey you coming with me and so i knew that it was enough to get the look where i needed it to be in my window box so i went ahead and just snatched them up if i don't decide to come in and change it out again honey with me, you just never know what you gonna get, honey. So I am loving this, I'm obsessed, and I love the dark foliage here. And I feel like it's a really nice play on color. It's a really nice play on texture, and it's definitely a nice play on formality. Drop down in the comment box, let me know what you think about this window box here. Honey, let me know what you think. And I know some of y'all, I know my ride or dies, I know my ride or dies are thinking like, Queen, what, what is going on? What, why did you pull the window box? I wanna know why do you think I pulled my window box? I wanna know why do you think I changed out my window box? And we'll talk about it. Also, we're going to be doing a question and answer. And I'm going to put a post at the top of this page. It's gonna be pinned. And that should be the first comment that you're seeing when you click on this page. And that is gonna set us up for our next Q&A. And I'm also gonna make a post over on the community page. We putting it out. So get ready. Hey, one thing about me, I'm a plant and I'm gonna definitely do a two-step. How about that? Bloop. 
Oh, I probably should go the other way because the bird. <laughs>